Proxy. Welcome to the proximity. And welcome to live. As in, you're live on the internet, John Proxy, on that Twitch. It's this game, I'm about to start, is compatible with things I own, like this controller. This is Under Hero. The next step in my itch, I Odyssey. Let's put on my itch bar. There you go. I'm trying to play a bunch of games. How many games? Like fucking loads of games. <laughs> like 700 odd, I think it is. Uh, I'm playing them for like half an hour each. They're all from that particular Racial Justice bundle. I thought I'd try, yeah. Because there's just a bunch of games I never would have played otherwise. Also, I think it's nice that they gave away their game for like five dollars. Like all of them. Anyway, uh, if you've ever wondered why certain games have this press start on, um, it's because it's a really good way. Let's turn that itch bar back off. Really good way of knowing which controller they've got. Now they know I'm using an Xbox controller. Let's press new game, shall we? Employee number one, two, or three. Yes, I shall use that file. Uh... It says use keyboard, but it's not working. There we go. Proxy. Uh, do not close the game. Okay, the kerning on that writing is not great. Oh. Also, a lot of these games take a while to load. What's it doing? Either way, let's press the timer. Long ago, there were tales about a distant land known only as the Chestnut Kingdom. Generations of princesses were kidnapped by great evils and the underlings. I'm not super keen on the writing going out like that. Just because, like, my eyes going... Okay, I'm just going to click. Heroes emerged across the ages to rescue the princesses and save the kingdom from the impending doom. Aided by the legendary weapon, the chosen ones were battled the vile creatures and were rewarded with magical stones, the symbols of a true hero. With immense courage, these legendary heroes defeated the evil villains and saved their kingdom every single time. This is but one of those stories. We're finally here. Looks like this is it. Scarf Boy. Okay, it makes a lot more sense to do it during this dialogue here. Our final battle. Time to save the princess and the chestnut kingdom. Let's go! Ah, oh, I've got so much health. I'm level 99. Not a care in the world. Okay. Sorry, uh, I make my own game on Game Maker, which I'm pretty sure this was made in. So whenever I play a platformer, I'm very interested in how the camera works. Why is the V-Sync really weird for these games? So one thing... So the pause menu... Yeah. So the jump height... The weight of the fall... Uh, how fast the camera moves up because for me that up and down camera movement is really jarring also moving from right to left is an interesting conversation uh, decision and there's like a floatiness to the fall 
which I now I get a bit more. There's uh, different jump heights. Yeah, number one, I just kind of wish the camera was a little bit less dedicated to constantly following him up and down. Here is road. Okay, listen up, you two. Lord Stitches gave us the honor of protecting this hallway. The hero will have to pass through us before he can reach the boss. So this is our one, our chance to defeat him. You do realize we're just cannon fodder, right? I mean, we don't stand a chance against that monster. We're just here to, like, drop some potions or something. Well, we're not gonna win with that attitude, Hemo McGee. Jeez. Hey, you. Yes, you. The quiet one back there. You have anything to say? You what? Listen here, you freak. That plan of yours never ever gonna work. Why do I always end up with the weirdos? Ugh. Okay, everyone, to your posts. They'll be here in any moment. Try to keep up, freak. By the way, this looks fantastic. Uh, although. So, I want to say that's a really <laughs> interesting. Uh, one thing I've been sort of taught. Where's his face gone? Uh, is, and I can see it now. Uh, sort of inconsistent pixels. So right now everything looks great, but his face has bigger pixels than the rest of it because it's the same face zoomed in. But it is 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 in the UI, so it's somewhat fine, but still. Prepare to meet. So yeah, the pixels are really big in that bit, but because it's in the UI, it's not, it's not as bad as if it was in the game. So you can sort of get away with that. Wow, that was awful. What does that even mean? You illiterate fool! I was being poetic. We are the masked ones, and we will send him to the void, as in dead. I hope he kills me first, so I don't have to listen to any more of your poetry. Ugh, whatever, bro. So weren't we supposed to be a trio? Oh no. Is someone there? Come here, you. Yes, you. You've got to help me. Let me out of here. Or else, I'll just keep annoying you. Thank you. I thought I was done for. Oh no! It's one of you creeps. Let go of me. Scarfy, they've got me. Help! Kid? Scarf boy? Talk to me, kid. Kid! I can't believe this. He is dead. Who did this? Is this the end? Has evil finally won? Someone's coming. Um, okay, listen. I'm sorry I called you a creep and I can't believe I'm saying this, but I need your help. You cannot tell anyone about this, me, okay? Just take us somewhere safe. Some place we can talk. Hide me, please. You found a talking hilt and three important looking stones. What's all that ruckus over there? Did the hero finally arrive? Hey, what's going on here? Did you, did you just do what I think you did? I must take you to Mr. Stitches immediately. We must continue. Mr. Stitches awaits. Listen here, friend. Uh, fiend. I know I'm pretty, but you better back off. Or I'm gonna get aggressive when I get out of here. This is a long corridor.
Sir, I have wonderful news. Mr. Stitches, sir. Oh, is he the chair? He's behind the chair. Yes! I was playing hide and seek with the princess. Um, right, sir. This minion here just... Spit it out, you fool! This minion just... Just killed the hero! I saw it myself! Gasp! Is that so? I have no need for you now! Leave this place! And do not come back! Tell me, did anyone else witness this deed? No, sir, I was the only one. I came here as fast as I could, my lord. Oh, good! Good! Sir? Ah! Why, sir? Ha! <sighs> How peculiar. Ha! Huh. Do not worry, masked one. I will not harm you. On the contrary, my dear underling. I have a special task for you. Yes, quite an important mission, you see. I believe you have heard of the Triviality Stones. Yes. Oh, so you found them in the hero's belongings. Good. My three top-ranking officers are tasked with protecting these stones. Their mission is to let the hero take the stones when they are defeated. Now that the hero is no more, they need you to take these stones back to their owners across the Chestnut Kingdom. This could be quite an adventure. If you do this for me, you'll be rewarded handsomely, of course. Here, take the stones belonging to Moth Queen. She resides in the very tall tree in the Moth Forest. After you are done, come back to me to receive the next stone. And do not make haste. We never know when a new... And do make haste. We never know when a new hero might arrive. Oh, and before you leave, bear in mind that this is a secret mission. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> I wonder what happened to the legendary weapon of the hero. She must have escaped in the confusion. So she was not there, huh? I trust you, masked one. You would not lie to your boss, right? <laughs> See you soon. Good luck. That was too close for my tastes. Did you hear that? They think you killed my hero. Ha! Huh. There's no way someone like you could have done that. But enough of that. This is your home, huh? Not too shabby, all things considered. Pretty cosy, actually. But it, still, we're not safe here. You must have a place you call your own. Right? Take us there so we can talk. So this is a nice narrative, right? I, I like the idea. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. I should be in the corner again. I'm going to move my face. I like the idea. Uh. But this introduction is like, it's been 10 minutes. I want to play the game, please. So I might start skipping the dialogue or reading quickly. Items when you travel, take items. Uh, there's a back button. There we go. My memory is terrible. Sometimes I even forget where I live. But checking my items menu. Okay. A snail. Remember to carry your employee card at all times. Minibus because of the special colouring. Mm -hmm. 
What do we want? Better salary, better food. The door is. Do we want it? Wait, what? The door is, I say. Right. I'm gonna get in a fight. <laughs> Hold it right there, sugar. You know I can't let you any further without your employee card. Don't remember where you left it? Relax, I'm sure you'll find it. Where's my room? I'm looking for that. There's only one place I've not tried, so... Oh, I like the parallaxing in the theatre. This is goddamn room. Oh, it's really slow. <laughs> is down the bottom. Where apartment A is. Okay, Elizabeth Four, Magical Hilt, Chosen Hero Legend. So it loses all the powers. Fight all the bosses, become stronger. To the forest. So I'm rushing through because I actually want to get to the game. It's been 17 minutes. saved. Alright, let's go to the more forest.
Oops, no, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, the mix of different pixel sizes is noticeable. Because this looks all great. And that was a very overly... Uh, I was I was told that most people get the idea of mini saves. And I get it now, I get why it's annoying. Hint. Okay. Really, really bad at using these things. Oh, well, I'll get used to it. We've got to do the actual game bit. Okay, got it. Talk to the enemies. Lovely weather we're having. Some potions, lovely. Awesome. I now know how potions work. Money. Oh, yeah, I see. Attacking me, I'm on your side, aren't I? This is an interesting system.
Doesn't seem to breathe. Found a potion, lovely. Okay. They always hide down here when patrolling. I'm a huge coward, sue me. Gonna T pose to assert dominance. So yeah, things like the fact that the door, yeah, I've noticed what it is now. The ground I'm standing on has smaller pixels than this, and like, it does make things, and me, a little bit jarring. Not jarring, it just, uh, it's inconsistent, what I've been told. And yeah, I notice it, like, it's a thing. No, not inconsistent. It makes the art... It doesn't all belong to each other. It's incongruent. So it looks great down here, where everything's consistent. It's not as bad when it's like a really good art game, I guess, but still. How do I get up there? in the background. What time is it? How do I... How do I get to... Hmm. I guess we can go down the caves instead.
Turn the other way. This might be all the way. Fuck. Well, that's really annoying. Uh, I'm going to use that as a reason to see what the next game is. It's been half an hour. So let's uh, jump 24 hours into the future for my impressions. Let it seep in. And then see what our next game is. Right, this is, of course is Under Hero. This looks all very nice. I wish the game played as well as it looked. Like, it doesn't play badly either. I just wish it was a little bit more polished. Anyway. Yeah, the uh, next game is throw cubes into brick towers and collapse them. I feel like, I mean, we could <laughs> fight, seek more information. Self-portrait without looking at the paper. Well, I'm not using paper, so that's going to make it a lot easier. We're actually talk about, talking about Under Hero. Uh, which is a funny premise uh, out, out of uh, the, like the last five or so games, I think. This is the first one that I just think was a miss rather than a hit. Uh, which is funny, I was watching someone else play this and it looked really good. The graphics look great, although I feel like occasionally some of the different graphical pieces don't quite mesh with each other. But I just... Just the controls. It, the, like, it wasn't janky, it was purposely built. I just didn't like the way it was purposely built. And that's going to be my biggest issue with the game. I maybe if i played paper mario i'd enjoy it a lot more also it just spent 20 minutes before it even start it's a funny premise it's a really like it's a really funny premise you murder the main hero and you have to become the hero because that's how the rules work in this world like patches like i remember the villains called patches and there's a talking sword i can see over there oh damn that's what's right in my hand uh I've got like a, a hair, I, I, I shaved and there's a hair now sticking out my hand, but it's like pierced my skin because the hair is thin uh, and it hurts and I can't do anything about it. <laughs> uh, hang on, it's a, a bit of my hand that I can actually reach there. Can I, can I get out? Can I get out? Okay, I've dealt with that now. Okay, um, that's why my hair looks silly. I might, my hair looks silly in the video, but it looks fine in the mirror. And I'm really confused. I hate. It. Apparently, I need to be 3D for my hairstyle to make sense. What? Right. Should we draw? There's so much stuff in the game, but I'm looking even at the, the logo there, and there's just so much stuff in it. I'm gonna copy the logo. I'm gonna copy the logo because, like, I mean, look at this. I've got. Oops. Look at this. Look at this. I have like a kind of like a dress, to be honest. Like a dress. Some arms. And we're, gonna, we're gonna fill that in in a second, right? We have more arms. So, like stick arms. We have some hands. They're, they're not blue, but they're green, and it's pretty close. Like so, and uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, legs. I can't remember what the shoes are like because the shoes aren't on the thing. So I'm just gonna draw, just copy John's shoes instead. Lines again, uh, but like I'm, I'm, I've got all the colours. Here's, here's what I'm, actually we'll do some hair. Let's make it like this, this smud, smudgy colour. Nope. Make it purple, but the, the smudgy purple. Because no, we were going to use the smudgy purple on the thing. Well, now I'm no longer going to do that, am I? Yeah. 
So yeah, I didn't like it. Uh, is the quick is the quick answer to this? Uh, I, I I I like the premise. Like, like all the stuff, even the jumping around made sense. But I just I don't know. I just the controls were frustrating to deal with, uh, and it's kind of unforgivable. Uh, and yeah, that's that's everything to be honest. Like it, as I said, it took far too long to actually get going. Oh, I do have a green. What are you talking about, John? You had a green. You literally had a green. Blue stroke green kind of makes sense. This looks awful. <laughs> This is the under here, uh, as I feel like you should have guessed. Let's, oh, well, let's use this. That's how we get access to other colours, as you said before. We can mix them now. Like so. The underhero, I, I just, I just didn't like it very much, to be honest. I liked it. I think it squandered a pretty good premise by being just a little unwieldy to play in a genre that should be really satisfying to play, and just it wasn't satisfying. It, I, I, I got kind of frustrated at how slow and how wieldy how I couldn't quite do anything and it wasn't didn't feel like a challenge to do stuff I wanted to do it just felt kind of a bit boring and unwieldy to try and do anything I wanted to do uh, and yeah I'm afraid I'm afraid I didn't really like it uh, that kind of looked better in the end uh, I think Yeah, uh, I like that tool. I see myself having a lot of fun with that. But yeah, there are uh, under here. I think maybe somebody more patient than me might get something out of it. Um, Still shading. Shit, I forgot to put a title. I got so into the shading, I didn't do the title. Oh. Was it hmm. I'm, I, I'm not actually satisfied with these impressions either. Not just because I didn't do the title. I actually ended up really liking the drawing once I realised I could start shading stuff. I'm actually struggling to remember the game a bit. All I remember is there was just so much stuff on the screen and so much talking and I only had like seven minutes to actually play the game and then I just, I, I wanted to get places and it wasn't fun and the combat, I guess, the timing didn't quite make sense to me, it wasn't really satisfying to play. Uh, yeah, disappointing I'm afraid.
but that I mean it seems kind of self-explanatory snitch.io exclusive hmm somehow it keeps me in the same for hours like sort of jangling keys right let's give it a go shall we 